Yo, what is up everybody? We are back to watch another movie, the movie and the trio of sad boy films you guys recommended. Um, we done seen, um, oh no, it's not a trio, never mind. There's like four of them. So we've seen A Silent Voice, we saw Your Name, we saw Weathering With You, and now we're here to watch I Want To Eat Your Pancreas. Now, what is it with strange naming conventions on these Japanese shows, right? Delish. The only thing I know about this movie is somebody about to get their pancreas ate. And like, these names be so weird. Like, like I just got reincarnated as as Kim Kardashian's queef, or like, there's always some queef. <laughs> Listen, the names That's that they come with. So random. This could have been titled "I Want to Eat Your Kneecaps from the Back." <laughs> and like, <laughs> are these things that you want or something? <laughs> Listen, I'm just saying. So the naming weird. conventions are very strange and it doesn't give me very much insight into what the film is about. Only thing I can assume is somebody has their pancreas eaten. Why? I don't know yet. But I'm sure we will find or out. Or maybe there it's a, like an expression because their pan pancreas is ailing them. So you're saying like, oh, I wish I could eat it. Like, like just take that pain away. You know, <laughs> I would have shut it down. But your ridiculous <laughs> theories always have a way of coming true, so I'm just not gonna do that. And you know what? We're just gonna go ahead and jump right into this movie. Classmate de atta Yamauchi Sakura no Sogi wa Seizen no Kanojo ni wa marede ni tsukawashiku nai Ame ni hii tori okonawareta Oh, this is the fallout from Weathering with You. That's what I said, that's a rainy day. Kanojo ni hii no chinkakara Saigo no meere Wow what? Shira, Jesus Christ, I think you're absolutely... <laughs>。<laughs><笑><笑> I'm so sad. <laughs> Spoiling the damn movie for me. I, I didn't spoil it. I didn't even read the description. I had no idea what this movie is about. <laughs> Not them hitting us with an intro. We're probably fully copyrighted music in it. <laughs> oh, you could put the turn down the volume button. <laughs> What a depressing book. Uh, yeah. So you're about to die. Oh, wait. I only have a few more years to live. Having come to terms with that, I write this in order to get my live life together with my disease. First. In order to live together with my disease. Yeah. Oh. Bro, what? That's fucking dark. So this is oh, even further so. back than when we saw them interacting <laughs> in the other scene. <coughs> no, no, it's not. I don't think he knows how to process the information. <laughs> and I think it's also like kind of like a mental defense barrier. Like if you know that... This person is about to pass away. I don't think. I think your mind would automatically not want to get close to that person. <laughs> He's so dry. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, you're right. This is beforehand. I thought it was beforehand because it seemed like that was their first encounter ever. In okay. Because she was like, because the way she and said, she said was... normally you would have responded. So that's why I thought. I get. I misinterpreted the subtitle. I thought she was saying that any person would have normally. Responded. Yeah, that's what she meant by it. Yo, that's so dark. What the hell? I respect her response. That was a very deep response. Yeah, that made him think about it. See, that'd probably go fire with some fried rice. And I'd like to try it, but I don't have a wok. So I need you to get me a wok. Please? She's not entertaining anymore, y'all. 
君の魂はとても騒がしそうだ。よ、I'm looking forward to her turning in him into like an exciting person. <laughs> I don't think she turns him into an exciting person because he didn't go to the wake or the funeral. Well, because he cares about her, he probably couldn't like. But most people would go sit to say their goodbyes, but he's like, yeah, nah. Ah,、uh, set up. Set up to get money out of her. I hope she's gonna say something. I hope she don't got nothing to lose. Oh, that's all it takes? Yep, that、Boom. is all it literally takes. <laughs> oh, okay, word. Yep, all it takes. Oh, the police. Right in the dick. Yep, there we go. <laughs> He's like, why? <laughs> I just wanted to mind my business. Oh, God. Oh, yo, that was quick. <laughs> he hurt his back. Ma'am, couldn't hold the door for me? What the hell? <laughs> She didn't know if he was coming in or not. <laughs> She's not going to take that chance. I bet. I'll just stay out here then. Wow. <laughs> He's like, nah. <laughs> This is so depressing. It's just for the short time until I die. Like, I, like what? I'm not sure. I'm not even going to lie to you. I'm not even going to lie to you. I'm not even going to lie to you. I'm not even going to A dying girl is not going to force me to be her friend. That's like a lot. That's a heavy burden. And then to keep saying it. Yeah, I hope <laughs> like, you get along well until I die. I'm not gonna forget, ma'am. I'm not gonna forget. I promise I won't forget <laughs> that you're dying. <laughs> yeah, let's go eat here, you know, because I'm dying and all. Yeah, let's go to the wall, you know, because I might die. She's like, I'm on to you. <laughs> I just want to go about my business. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, why do you have to animate that so good? <laughs> He's like, why are we always eating all the evidence? <laughs> yeah, just giving him that info. She's like, I broke up my boyfriend. This walk is open. <laughs> oh, God, here they go. Mind your business. Right? What's the deal? Yeah, right in front of him, though. Okay, Kyoko just made the list. The shit list. I, like me, I would back off, like, okay, whatever she got going on. Clearly, she doesn't want anybody to know. But, like, yeah, she's just trying to figure out what's an irking feeling. Like, okay, I know that there's something up.、Huh? Laying the moves on thick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's blushing. Listen. <laughs> you know exactly what she means. <laughs> hey, bro. Focus on you, King. She's dying, but she can still be playing games, man. You know who she is? She's literally Kushida from Toradora. Just minus the pink hair. That's literally her character. And minus the hype. No, the、oh, hype the is hype. there. No, not on、And、that level.、Okay. Oh、my <laughs> she was hyper. <laughs> Nigga, why are you always offering me gum, bro? My breath stink. <laughs> is that the ex boyfriend? <laughs> yeah, right in the butthole. No, so maybe that's not the ex boyfriend then. Mm. Books. <laughs> yeah, kidnapping though? You volunteered. <laughs> I want to go get dicked down. Yeah, we don't know about that. I want to get laid before I pass away. <laughs> That's fair. So, who are you? We've never met you before. Frank. 
He's Not thinking good. about it. Yeah, you, yeah, you know, I just realized we don't know his name. <laughs> Wait, what? It's fucking Chester. <laughs> Why was that her face, though? Because like, she was probably just surprised. Does that make him more human to her? <laughs> or she thought it was a really nice name. <laughs> yeah, they didn't have any extra rooms. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna sleep on the couch. All right, I'm gonna sleep on the couch, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She wants you to peek. Mm -hmm. This dude is so dense, man. Bro, go get you some yams, man. Just do it, please. He's thinking about it. <laughs> huh? That looks like complication. <laughs> yep. Can you? Yep. Ask him to bring something. <laughs> he already knows what time it is. That's why he took a deep sigh. Yeah, There's like the, KY in there. The dildo in there. There's so kinds of just <laughs> unnecessary equipment. Oh, facial wash. <laughs> yeah. This is hilarious. She's blood, bro. Say something, bro. Oh, he's scarred. He's like. <laughs> She's literally throwing the cheeks at this guy. And he just. He's like, I like boys. <laughs> no, that's not what he said. Because she asked him that. At the, she asked him that at the he said restaurant. He's barking up the wrong tree. <laughs> Bro, don't drink it. She spiked that, bro. <laughs> She's drugging the way, him. The way she been acting. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> okay, my man is a real shut in. He's never heard of truth or dare. <laughs> Suck on his nipples. <laughs> don't say Kyoko, bro. Oh, no. Oh, the one who's good at math. Oh, she got right to the point. Bro. <laughs> Bro, he's please like, get it. Please. He's like at the bottom. <laughs> Among the people I can recall. <laughs> oh, this is fun. <laughs> he's like, how did that get turned around? Oh, she's blushing. <laughs> he's blushing too. <laughs> Oh, that's she's super red. Yeah, <laughs> my measurements. <laughs> she's like, I want it to play so freak it. <laughs> Two more rounds, no dare. Oh my god, look at how I fell. Oh dear. No, I said carry me. I said carry me. <laughs> Look at me, I'm totally I like, helpless. I like Pick her me up. Playful side. It's so funny. He did it in the most like right to the point, taking you to bed away. <laughs> Bro, just put her in bed and then just go on about your business. She had some alcohol, <laughs> just leave it alone. That's right. Notice Good how man. he really didn't he didn't want to <laughs> tell her three things he felt cute about her. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and he got six. <laughs> Or you can eat the poop. This is just too much. <laughs> yeah, I hope she fell asleep. She's done. Yeah, she did fall asleep. Okay, good. Yeah, tea pose. <laughs> Alright, he's just gonna leave. <laughs> what if he went all the way back home? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. He's just gonna like, bounce. It, it didn't work out. Yeah. I had to come home. <laughs> you know how that looks? Like, you just started hanging out with me, and then we'd leave and go to this faraway land. Oh, she's awake. Oh, God. Oh. Aww. It just got heavy. Oh, that's where he saw the, all the oh, pills. Oh, medication that she's on. Okay. He's like, I don't know if I can answer that question. Oh, yep. he might do that. <laughs> He's like, I think I'm going to just take option yeah. two. No, yeah, there we go. But see, now that type of situation where you're using me as an excuse, I would want to know what's going on. Yeah, but if something she happens her in. to you, that is true. I would be responsible because I said you were with me. <laughs> That's my thing, too. It's like you just started hanging out with me. We go to this faraway place. It's super suspicious. <laughs> Eh? 
あだろ少しね<笑>好きな本っていうのは人となり That is a nice house. It is. Oh, yeah, I got money. <laughs> I mean, I would think so. She's able to afford all, all the meds. Oh, oh, look at him playing this cheating ass game Mario Kart. <laughs> it's not cheat. I also feel like that's really unfair, like, to ask him to be, like, her boyfriend and then she's gonna pass away. That's what I was saying before. Nayo. Yo katta. I guess it's one of those things where it's like, like I said. And then he's remembering what Kyoko said about her being fragile. But what I, what I was going to say was, um, it could be like, remember when I said he found the diary. She thought it was like coincidence. And it's like, maybe this could be the guy that can like share the burden with me. Like yeah. if fate so chose it. Like I agree with you. But I also feel like that's extremely unfair. Oh man, here we go. What is this though? Oh wow, yeah, come and get these sick yams. That's what that's what. Oh, that's why she's like, never ever would you be my boyfriend? He's like, nah, she's like, all right, you can have the yams then. Because <laughs> that's on my list. <laughs> oh god, here we go. I think she's trolling. She probably is. <laughs> the Mr. Krabs face. <laughs> like, what do I do? Yeah, troll. Yep. I saw that coming. Now he's mad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, wait, whoa! <laughs> yeah, caught her off guard. Oh, dear. Bro. Yeah, what? Just got frustrated, so he just held her down for a second to say, like, that's not funny, since he's kind of awkward. I think it, it was, like, his way of reciprocating, like, it's not funny to him to, like, do that stuff to him. Like, it's not funny to patronize him like uh, that. I, I think it's a little bit of that. I don't know if he was, like, actually wanting something to happen, no. and then that emotion kind of took over, because he was getting ready to kiss her. No, I think he wanted something to happen, but, but he didn't like that she she made it into like this a joke. joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nigga. Yeah. 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 Good timing? What's wrong with this nigga, bro? You're clueless, bro. That was so out of line. It's so funny there's dudes like that. Bro, she didn't They're ask her to do that. Yeah, now he's upset that he got wrapped up in her BS. と関わるべきじゃなかったんだよ。おお。and that's that's yeah she pretty much acknowledged like that he got upset because she was toying with his emotions and like so he was like it's not fair for you to toy with my emotions like, what if i toyed mm -hmm. with your emotions like that i pinned you on the bed and he was gonna i don't think he would have done anything it was just like a like how does it feel and she didn't like that so he's just like
嫌い貸すからもう一回うちに来て、oh, smiling a little bit、yeah. for apologizing、hmm? they're knocking out her whole bucket list she's literally your first friend <laughs> get clapped by that filter damn she's doing tiktok dances and shit uh oh <laughs> I'm embarrassed. She wasn't expecting it to be him. Yeah. <laughs> that's so ridiculous. How she's on the suck? And that's exactly how people in high school are, though. So nosy and so wrong. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Mm. Her timing is gonna be so terrible when she walks through the door. She always wants to ask like fun, empty questions, and he always wants to ask like deep, meaningful、mm -hmm. ones.、Mm, she's outside listening. Oh my god, I think she's gonna find I think she's gonna put it together that she's like dying. <laughs> She teaches him a lot. That's why she's like, it's so important for you to make friends and everything else. And he just didn't understand why. And she's like, well, you know, to me, that's living. Yeah. Because he can hug without feeling like it's his last one. <laughs> She's holding her hostage. That's why I slide on out of there, bruh. Yeah, bro. <laughs> no, that's a terrible idea. That's why she brought you up. That's why it had to be tonight, because the fireworks. I was just scared that she was going to die like tomorrow. Yeah, because she was being so vague about it. But she was just trying to surprise him. Man. The Japanese love fireworks in their anime, huh? Right? Aww. As a date? He's just saying, like, you're assuming you're gonna get discharged. Yeah. <laughs> Mother's intuition. Mm hmm. She's like, bruh, I knew you had no friends. <laughs> <laughs> It's fucked up. <laughs> Bro, if you offer me gum, I'm gonna punch you in the throat. Sure, I swear to God. Put it away! <laughs> you might say yes this time. Yeah. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, <what> the... <laughs> that scared the hell out of me. I think he also realizes that after she's gone, he's gonna wanna keep those interactions. Like, because he's gonna be really. I think、sad. that's what that was supposed to be symbolic of, like, him being ready to take the gum. Okay, yeah, he felt like he changed. Mm -hmm. Every time his phone g o off, I think it's a bad text. <laughs> I know, me too. Oh my god, s h i r a It is the last text. Why? I want to take a leaf out of your book? No. And that was the last text. Jesus Christ. Death. Because he said he doesn't know if she ever read it. Yeah. Because <clears throat> she didn't show up. Ah.、Uh, a stab wound? <gasps> Bro, what? So she didn't what? even die by what she was. <laughs> From her ex? And you know what's funny? Earlier, I was gonna make a, a freaking joke and say, like, imagine if she died some other way than the pancreas illness. Like, I was gonna say, what if she got hit by a car? I was literally gonna make some joke like that, but I didn't because I was like, I don't even want that to happen, so just let me not. And she ended up dying by some other reason. I was literally gonna make that joke. 
And it's just a lesson on even though she was given like a death day, like that it, it was go it goes back to the original conversation where yeah. you don't know when you're gonna die. In the book, it probably said to give it to him. Hmm. She knew you well, man. Yeah, she did. And that's why she wanted to be friends with him because she knew that he wouldn't treat her, treat her differently. She only had a few Clap. minutes left. Oh man. Mm. It's crazy because she knew he started to care about her. She wasn't gonna tell he she wasn't gonna tell him about her shorter lifespan. <laughs> To keep living, like with bonds and stuff, probably mm -hmm. something of that sort. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Like It was like storybook art. And that's why he didn't. Okay, that's why he didn't want to give the name. Okay. That well, makes sense. He just didn't want to solidify the bond. Even though it still happened anyway. Yeah. That's interesting. But to her, mm. she lived more in that moment with him than she's lived her whole life. Like how she was saying, how the cherry blossoms always wait to come <laughs> back in the bloom at the same time, even though it takes him three months to. Wow. That's what he was going to text her, yeah. She's gonna say, I wanna eat your mm -hmm. pancreas. <laughs> Did to see if she read it. The same text message they sent each other. That's. That's. She just so... didn't get to send it. Oh, he wanted to see if his message reached yeah, her. Yeah, so the, okay. to see if she read it. That's sad. That's like the first time we showed saw him show like the emotion. Yeah, that's sad. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, he said it too. She said she hoped they all they, she wished they get together get or get along is what I meant to say. Haruki. Wow, because Sakura has come back in the, the spring. spring. That's why she gave him that look. And that's why she always kept saying that, like, they fit. That's why she said, We two really are. Mm -hmm. they, just... they would meet at the spring cafe. <laughs> and there is an interesting fact that I read that I'll say after. <laughs> to be honest, I would have given the message, but I still wouldn't. I don't know if I'd let them know that she was terminally ill 
because then now they're going to look back on all the fun times that they were having with her and the whole time she was sick, which kind of defeats the purpose. Um, I think it kind of like taints those memories. It's like, oh, you know, we were, we were having fun all this time. But then she deep down was like... But sick. she was... But she was actually having fun, though. She just didn't want them to... Grieve in that moment or yeah. treat her differently. I can see. And he'll explain. <laughs> But she, didn't she didn't want, want that. Yeah. She didn't want to be a burden to anybody. And so the, the stabbing wasn't anybody she knew. It was just random. It wants to be friends. Yeah. He's looking to build bonds with people. And she really wanted the two of them to be friends. Mm -hmm. That was like one of her, well, her like, main biggest wishes. wishes. Yeah. Oh, wow, what an ending. Oh, he went to go leave an offering at her grave. Because in her writing, she said, if I was right about you, go leave an offering at my grave. Oh, they're friends. I was going to oh, say, wow, it wouldn't be awkward for them to become a thing because him and like... Sakura never officially solidified them being a, a, a thing, thing, so yeah. it's, it's, it wouldn't be weird. It was like her blessing. And I think that's the stuff that they were, the beer that yeah. they were drinking in the hotel room. I think so too. She said, we'll smash at Sakura's place. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely movie. I thought that was an awesome movie. That was, was. really well done. It was. Even though you Haiki spoiled it as soon as it started. I did not Haiki. Which your prediction spoiled, it. spoiled <laughs> the movie was about Shira. No, Somebody's pancreas was sick. I'm kidding. Oh no, that was a very good movie. And I think you know what I think too? Like randomly, like the gum thing. Like when you think about it, like offering gum like to kids is like literally like you offer gum to your friends, like it's a sign of like Mm -hmm. Friendship and like close friends. Like, oh, you got gum? Oh, no, yeah. yeah I do got gum. A lot of people would be like, nah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you don't want to get, so I actually liked how symbolic the, the gum thing was throughout the Same. entire movie. Because part of me was like, yo, is it one of those like shock things? Like, where are you going to try to get a piece of gum and you got to shock them? Or are you really just trying to offer them some gum? You're just trying to be a friend. So that was that was well done. Yes, it was. The bond between um, him and, and Sakura was dope, and how she helped him grow, and you know he he helped her, they helped each other grow in in some in some ways. It's just dark the whole movie. Yeah. And then it just literally ends with her getting clapped out of nowhere. Which I'm so freaking mad that that, that, that like, happened, but I kind of had a feeling, because like I said, I was, I was gonna make a joke, like, what if she gets freaking hit by a car, some mundane stuff like yeah, that, while love, she's like they, counting they love hitting people with cars. So. And they actually love stabbing people too in anime, so I guess, I guess it kind of lines up, but it goes hand in hand with the other message of the movie, which is like, you gotta live every day like it's, like it's your last. Like you don't know, last, yeah. like, because she posed the question to him, like, it's kind of like she knew when she was going to die, and it still happened out of nowhere. So, so it's, it's still like, like you still don't know. Like, even if you're given an expiration date, that still might be not me, not be your expiration date. Mm -hmm. On top of the fact that her original expiration date became cut in half. Mm -hmm. So her lifespan actually was shortened mm -hmm. still before she got stabbed. So it was like neither here nor there. Yeah. The only thing that was a little bit weird that I thought was she was saying that she didn't think that it was fate everything that was happening she thought it was the choices that people were making but some people would say that, that the choices fate. that you're making you're fated to make those choices and everything was intended to happen as it did she was just saying that she don't she believes you always have a choice like fate makes it seem like you didn't have a like choice you didn't have a choice that was gonna happen yeah. regardless that's a good point i didn't think of it that way but um what i was gonna say is that um i read once upon a time that sakura the name that is our eldest daughter's middle name mm -hmm. just in case some people are like well then why would you choose that name as your daughter's first name well that is our fa one of our favorite trees but aside from that, um, I read that in Japan they um, tend to stray away from the first name of Sakura because it's like a, a um, what's the word I'm thinking about? It's like a taboo. Like they think that naming your your daughter that shortens their lifespan. So I thought it was interesting oh, that her wow. name was Sakura. 
and her and she got they, they think that your daughter can die at a young age if you name them Sokka. I guess because of the trees. It's like a whole, superstition. Like yeah, it's a superstition. The, 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 the Bloom's before. short lifespan. Yes. Hmm. So I thought that that was extremely interesting that it followed like that superstition, like that whole like shebang. Yeah. I thought the entire message behind the movie was beautiful. I, I would have to say, I think out of the four that we've watched, I would say that my two favorites are this and A Silent Voice. I like, I like them all, but I would say my two favorite ones was A Silent Voice and definitely this one. I, I, I could agree with that. I thought it was very that. well done. I could agree with that. And both were, you know, obviously your name and Weathering With You are fantastic films and like yes. extremely well animated. I just feel like the storyline in these two hit harder. I feel like me. as much as as vested as I was, mm -hmm. I could agree with, I could I could agree with that. Yeah. As far as what made me feel like the most emotion, because this one I didn't cry during this one, but it, it, it my eyes got watery. It was like yeah, right it was really there. good, really really good. <laughs> but yes, my emotions like were very vested in this movie and a silent voice too. Right. That one was like really deep so. but great recommendation guys yes dope 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 film really really, really awesome loved movies. it movies i think as far as like the whole message i really like this one mm -hmm. like there was just like a lot of the overall message of living every day like it's your life basically it, yeah i just like how it was poetically done mm -hmm. like how it was a very beautiful story yeah all right well that is going to be it for i want to eat your pancreas <laughs> And on to the next. As always, like, subscribe, follow on all socials. Hey, bro, she Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Subscribe, share. Links down below. Check out the merch link today. That's also down below. That's all we got for you guys today. Hope you have a great day, and we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.